As you might expect, the, the BBC has had to do some fancy footwork to keep up with the digital revolution. It can no longer rely just on traditional terrestrial television to fulfill its mandate, serve its constituency. So the BBC has begun a pretty aggressive, any type of operation that will move into the next era of media. The BBC website is one of the most sophisticated of any media organization and one of the most uh, popular in the world. Something I want you to pay attention to when you're over there is the iPlayer. The BBC was the first in the world to put all of its programming online that could be accessed with an app on either personal computers or phones. So anyone in the UK can see any BBC program on demand anytime they want. It is not available outside the UK except paying for it. So it's become a source of revenue for BBC commercial. But in the UK, even though we're not license fee payers, we can get access to this treasure trove of programming, and I hope you'll take advantage of it. Here's a little bit of explanation of the iPlayer. Explore the best of British TV with BBC iPlayer. A world of entertainment that's easy to get your hands on. I'm going to tell everyone. The app that becomes part of your life. It's fantastic. Whether you're on the move, wherever you like. Relaxing at home alone or with family, enjoy BBC iPlayer on iPad, iPhone, iPod and on your TV screen. It's very British, it seems to me. Yeah. More than 3,000 hours of great quality content to watch or download. Impossible. So, whether you like to take your time... It's wonderfully quick. ..or dive straight into the action, test drive the latest app now. And that's a lot to think about. BBC iPlayer. Explore the best of British TV. When we're in the UK, you'll see something called the red button on your TV remote. I'm not sure I know exactly all the, the options on this thing, but it allows you to have individual content. Say you're watching a sporting match and you want to see a football match from behind the goalkeeper, or you want to weigh in with your opinion during a program. It allows for individual tailored interaction and it's constantly evolving in the digital sphere. We will have television in our flats, complements of free view. It's something that's supplied throughout the UK, a lot of channels available. If we had come 15 years earlier, we would have been, li we would have been limited to the four or five terrestrial channels. Now we've got access to a lot more through free view, and it's a service that has brought more multi-channel television to more people in the UK. Digital penetration is quite high in the UK, but cord cutting has started, and that puts more pressure on the license fee of the BBC. Not everyone wants to pay it when they don't watch television.